We are now joined by UFC welterweight Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Abdul, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, thank you, Paul. Uh, we'll take the first question from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Your line is open. Welcome back, Abdul. Um, you know, I want to start with the last fight. Obviously, uh, just the second loss of your career and coming off of a long layoff. Um, what did you take away from that? And have you changed anything in terms of your preparation for this fight? Oh, yes, definitely. Preparation for the last uh, last fight was not real. Honestly, it's the best preparation I've had. I think I came with that. I was as a fighter. I just want to some shots out. Other than that, I'm athlete and uh, you know, I'm a rookie. So, uh, you know, we, we all learn about it. in the life journey. I've learned a lot. Sir, can I just get you to speak up just a little? I think we're getting some, some volume issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, do you want me to repeat what I said again? Yeah, if you don't mind, sorry. Yeah, I said, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff I've taken out of from uh, my last loss, you know. I didn't prepare very well, I think, so. Um, and also, I came into that fight, you know, more angry rather than fighting as an athlete. I was more upset with everything I've said with the I really thought that would carry me into a fight, but you know, it was for fighting. Yeah. Results is what's out there. But I've, I've learned a lot from that. And coming into this one, I mean, Chaos Williams, uh, we both know you both have uh, knockout power. He said he wants to uh, test your chin. Uh, how do you see this going? Because it seems kind of obvious on paper. <laughs> okay. If you want to test my chin, I have the same thing for him, too. Let's see how his chin can hold up. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the co-main event spot, um, it feels like the UFC knows this is explosive. So what's it feel to uh, get that kind of spotlight on you? It, it, it feels amazing. You know, I wasn't expecting that, but, you know, it, it feels amazing to, uh, for the UFC to, to kind of believe. I would not say just me, because that would be self The both of us that would be on them. I'll do, I'll do my best. Okay, well, thanks very much. Looking forward to Saturday. Thank you. We'll go next to Mike Bond with USA Today. Your line is open. Well, uh, just to, hey man, just uh, curious. Obviously, the road back to the last fight. We all know how tough that was for you. To just get that one fight out of the way and behind you, how different do you feel going into this one? Very different. You know, preparation is different. Everything is pretty much is different. Good, feeling happy, feeling like myself again, you know, putting everything behind me, everything that happened in the past behind me, you know, looking forward to the future. To kind of front page, I'm going to make through it. Yeah, not that you want to make excuses or anything like that, but can you, in hindsight, say uh, what percentage of like your ability you were really fighting at that night and how different it feels now? I cannot say my percentage, and also, you know, is giving excuses will kind of take away the victory from the person who had the victory. Um, he's a tough guy, he fought a good fight, so me making excuses would take away from this fight. And I'm sure you, all of you guys saw that I missed weight, right? Um, weight cut was the most horrible weight cut of my life. Never won the Even that uh, after the weigh-in, when I came back, so shaky. I wanted to so that okay, I'm so I was so upset. I just wait. This this one. The guy's tough. I, um, as that's why I don't want to make excuses. The guy's tough. It's good. Fair play, appreciate it, man. Just uh, on the UFC side, we it's still a little bit hard to hear him, so I'm not sure if you guys are able to make any fixes there, but uh, just give him a heads up. Thanks for the time. Much better. Uh, we'll go next yeah, to much better. Right, we'll go next to Gabriel Gonzalez with uh, Kate Side Press. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Oh, perfect. Thank you. 
Uh, just two quick ones. I want to ask just, uh, obviously there was a long uh, layoff between, you know, your last fight and the one before. Has yes. it helped you in terms of, you know, just staying in shape and peaking for the fight uh, because you've had, a, you know, it hasn't been as much time since the last one? Oh, yeah, because, you know, especially, like, if you're talking about the layoff, the layoff was just me being at home and getting fat pretty much is when I was off. Um, so getting back home from that last loss, you know, um, I did a lot of thinking. I cannot let my weight be that high. You know, I need to shift in gears, change some few stuff, you know. Um, so I did a lot of changing there to, to help me, help me be the old me and being above. So that, that was, that's what I did. This may sound like a redundant question, but can you just talk about the difference of having been able to stay active in terms of just how it does help you in terms of, you know, between fights, staying in shape, and just how quickly you are able to get back into quote-unquote fighting shape when you do get another fight scheduled? Staying in fighting shape is always good because one, when you're in fight shape, you know, or not say fight shape, but you, you put yourself in a situation that you don't have to, like, cut so much weight or put yourself too much stress just to get to where you want to be. It feels amazing. So going from fight to fight, you know, you don't go back to, like, hey, I don't have a fight for a while, so I just want to eat or do, you know, um, stuff that will make my weight going high. It just, your mentality just changes. You just want to go back to the gym, get back in there, fix your mistakes, fix the stuff that you know you could have done before, but you didn't do it. So it helps, it helps a lot in so many ways. Uh, my final one, uh, this time you're fighting in Vegas, you don't have to make the long trip over to Abu Dhabi. You can just talk a little bit about how helpful that is in terms of, you know, just going through fight week and everything. Yeah, very helpful, you know, very helpful. It's like you're, 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 in a, you're in your own backyard, you know? So it's, uh, it feels really good. You don't have to sit on a long, long flight all the way over there, you know? Um, <laughs> to fight. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be on a long flight over there. So being here, it's you know reassuring. You know, um, I have my whole team here. Last time I only had, I didn't have my team. So this time ah. I'm here. So it's really, it's really good. Hey, okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Abdul. You're all set. All right. Thank you very much.